In the last part, we had created a home view controller. So as you can see in our home tab, we can see all the tweets that we had made and we can also send new tweets which get updated on top of these tweets. In this part, we'll continue by creating the profile page of the user which is under the me tab. So let's begin. Coming to the main storyboard, in front of us we have the me view. In this view, we'll start by adding an image view to the top. This will be the cover photo of the user. Let's set its constraints. Give it a height. It's an approximate height. I'm not going into the exact dimensions, but it'll look approximately like an actual Twitter app. Let's give it a default image of one of the images I have in my assets folder. Change scale to fill to aspect fill. Below this, let's add a UI view. Let's add the constraints for this as well. The UI view will basically contain a header with some details and below that we'll have a table view which will show all the tweets, the media and the likes of the user. So let's do that. Let's start by adding another image view which will be the profile picture of the user. Set the height and width to 80 and let's set its constraints. Top spacing, heating space and height and width. Let's give it a default image of the Twitter icon for now. We'll allow the user to select and upload a unique profile picture later. To the right of this, let's add a horizontal stack view. Let's add three buttons in that. Come to the button. Let's change these buttons. This one's going to be called settings. We have a settings icon for this in the assets folder. The next one will have text and will be called logout. And the last one, let's call it edit profile. Let's move the stack view to the right. Let's set up the constraints for this. Give it a distribution of fill proportionally and give it a spacing of 15. Below the image, we'll add two labels. Let's spread this out to the width of the image and we'll call this one name. Center align it and we'll set its constraints and give it a vertical spacing. Below that, we'll add a label, give it a vertical spacing, center horizontally and call this handle. Reduce its size to 13 and center align it. Coming here, let's just fix the constraints of this. Below this, let's add a text field. Let's just call this about. The user can add a quirk about himself. Center line the text again. Give it a leading spacing from here to maintain the symmetry and a trailing spacing here. And set its height. Also give it a vertical spacing from the handle. Below this we'll add two more labels to show the user's followers and how many people the user is following. Let's set this one to 100 and this one to 100 as well. Let's 
let's add the constraints and vertical spacing and for this one let's add horizontal spacing and center vertically uh, below this we'll add a segmented control basically this will let us uh, toggle between our tweets media and likes so let's change this to three segment zero let's call this one tweets segment one let's call this one likes or let's call this one media segment two let's call this one likes and let's set its constraints as well vertical spacing and for this one let's add leading and trailing and let's, let's also set up the height below the segmented control we'll add three containers which will show each respective tab when it is clicked so let's do that drag container view below this and set its constraints similarly drag two more container views and set their constraints as well So basically, one will show the tweets, one will show the media, and one will show the likes. Let's just add three labels for reference. And let's just quickly center align all of these. let's set up a controller for this me tab let's call that me view controller let's add the controller here select the me tab and call this me view controller open up the split editor and let's set up the outlets for the container views so let's call this outermost one tweets container this one will be called media container and the last one should be called likes container control drag from the segmented view and create an action for this called show components Let's get rid of this code here basically over here we'll check which tab was clicked and depending on that we'll change the visibility of the other tabs to zero by changing the alpha value so let's see how we'll do that we'll say if sender dot selected segment index equal equal to zero that is the tweets tab was clicked we'll put in an animation using animate with duration give it a duration of 0.5 seconds and we'll say self dot tweets container dot alpha equal to one self dot media container dot alpha equal to zero and self dot likes container dot alpha equal to zero else if sender dot selected segment index equal equal to one Again, we'll put in the UI view dot animate with duration self dot media container dot alpha equal to one self dot tweets container dot alpha equal to zero and self dot likes container dot alpha equal to zero as well. Else we can assume that the likes tab was clicked and we'll set that alpha value to one. So animate with duration duration will be 0.5 again self dot likes container dot alpha 
equal to 1, self dot tweets container dot alpha equal to 0, and self dot media container dot alpha equal to 0 as well. Now if we run this, the segmented control should work. So let's try this. Now we have the home view. Coming to the me tab. There we see the tweets tab is first selected. Let's go to media. We see a nice animation and media comes up. We go to like and we see a nice animation and likes comes up. So I thought I'll keep this video limited only to the layout part of the me view. In the next part, we'll set up the code that enables the logout button, allows the user to select a unique profile picture from either the camera or the photo library, allows the user to update a quirk about himself, which live updates in the database, and also set up the tweets, media, and likes tabs.